Battle lines drawn in the wake of the Supreme Court draft opinion leak, and the debate is far from over. Lauren Blanchard has reaction from Washington. Abortion is front and center in the national discussion. Still, the future of federally protected abortion rights won't be decided for a couple more months. For two generations, women have been able to make their choices about when and if they want to have children and it, this completely ignores the reality of women's lives. Roe v. Wade was egregiously decided on principles that weren't held in the Constitution, and it's time that that's reflected and that the unborn are given an equal right to life. The unprecedented leak of a Supreme Court draft opinion on overruling Roe v. Wade quickly showing how divided the nation is nearly 50 years after the 1973 landmark case. What are the next things that are going to be attacked? Democrats now hoping to get their base to unify over the possibility that roughly half of states will put in place bans or restrictions on abortions. We need to make sure that we are doing everything we can at the ballot box and in the streets. Republicans say the problem is the leak, and many agree with the majority opinion writer Justice Samuel Alito that the government should not be making abortion laws for the states. Let the states make decisions. If Massachusetts wants to pass abortion laws, it's up, for the, up to the people of Massachusetts to make that decision. If Texas wants to pass more restrictive laws, they can do that. Congress could always buck the Supreme Court and pass a law protecting abortion rights, but despite the passion on the Democratic side, right now they simply do not have the votes. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.